Hey everyone, Rat Benatar here from the All Rats team, part of the Third Web community. And today, I'm going to show you how to launch your very own NFT drop on its own contract without writing any code. Not only that, I'm going to show you how it's done in Third Web version 2, because there's a ton of awesome updates that make this faster and easier than ever before, all while giving you, as a creator, more freedom in how you deploy your project. As always, if you appreciate this content, please give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with a friend who may enjoy it. So, as I mentioned, Third Web version 2 has a ton of updates, and I can't possibly cover every single thing today, so if you do want to read all the fine print and look at our most recent blog post, I will include a link in the description of the video. Otherwise, here are my four favorite updates about Third Web version 2 that I'm going to highlight today as part of this drop. Third Web is now completely free to use. We've revamped the dashboard, leading to a better overall user experience and onboarding experience. We've revised the contract architecture from the ground up, leading to overall fewer deployments and cheaper deployments. And we've refreshed our SDK from scratch, leading to an overall better developer experience as well. So the best way to take a look at this is to just go ahead and actually launch an NFT drop. And so that's what I'm going to do. And along the way, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to implement some of the most sought after features in the NFT space, such as easily set up an allow list for presale, embed your NFT drop into a web page without needing to know how to write any code. And finally, one of my favorite features, having a drop with a delayed art reveal. Let's get started by going to thirdweb.com. Again, access is totally 100% free. The only money required to actually launch your project is the gas fee that you'll pay at the time of deploying the contract onto the network. And as I've said, we've optimized those contracts so that even those gas fees are as cheap and infrequent as possible. Otherwise, you keep 100% of the revenue that you make from launching anything on the Third Web platform. I'm going to choose to launch my NFT drop on Polygon, but you can see that there are a variety of options here, including some test networks. Right away, you'll see we have a ton of different possibilities for you to explore. I'm going to choose an NFT drop today, like I said, but there are tools in here to help you build out your entire Web3 ecosystem. Okay, so this screen is important. This is the name and description of the collection that will show up inside of a place like OpenSea. If you do need to update the name later on, you can. Just be aware that this is viewable to your collectors. The image will also be the default image that shows up at the top of the collection on OpenSea. You can use a static image or an animated GIF. You will also come up with a token symbol here. This is important because this is what shows up in the transaction hash from blockchain explorers. So just like ETH or Matic are the symbols for those tokens, you'll want a symbol for your own token. Finally, your payout settings. So check this out. You have two main opportunities for sales to occur. They'll either be primary sales or secondary sales. The primary sales are those from when your NFTs are initially being minted by your community. Remember, 100% of all proceeds from those primary sales will go to your wallet. Royalties, however, are what you'll get from any secondary sales like if your NFT gets sold on OpenSea after the mint. Most projects will range from somewhere between 2.5% to 10%, depending on the scope of the project. Just remember, though, that places like OpenSea take their own cut on top of this one. So just be conscious of that, and make sure to set the expectation with your community ahead of time. When you're all set, click Deploy Now and be ready to complete a transaction. Okay, here's the fun part, where we actually prepare the NFTs themselves. The particular drop we're doing for this tutorial is focused on collections of 100, or 1,000, or even 10,000. So we'll click Batch Upload. Now let's take a look at the requirements for the batch upload. Your files must contain either one CSV file or JSON file with the metadata. Your metadata must include name, which defines the name of each individual NFT. And the file names of your assets must be sequential. So here's what my folder looks like. I have my different images here, all sequentially named, and I have a CSV file here with the metadata attached to it. Whether you end up choosing a CSV file or a JSON file, 
I strongly suggest taking a look at our example files as templates to ensure that your content displays properly on OpenSea. And we're ready to upload. Now, as soon as you upload the folder, you can confirm that everything looks good immediately. This is your chance to confirm that everything will be formatted properly in a place like OpenSea. Now, I know you see that option there for delayed reveal, and I promise we will come back to that in just a minute. But for now, I'm going to stick with the default option. One of the final steps here is to set your claim phase. The claim phase is where you get to set up all of the different conditions around your drop. So you get to define things like the price that you're setting, the currency that you want to accept for payment, and any additional specific conditions you'd like to set around your mint. And you can make this as simple or as complex as you'd like. For example, for all of you that have been building up a special pre-sale list to get access before the general public, that gets set here. If you want to slowly increment the price up over time, incentivizing early adoption, you can do that here as well. Or you can keep it simple and just say, hey, when minting begins, it's just going to stay open until we sell out. What I really love about this is that you can set all of your claim phases up to be programmed ahead of time, and they will automatically stick to the schedule on their own. So if you do have an allow list and you want to set up a pre-sale, you can do that by clicking this drop down here and switching from any wallet to only specific wallets. Simply download this example CSV file, add each member's wallet address on a new line, save it, and upload that CSV. We'll confirm for you how many addresses are on that list right here. And now the claim phase system is really great because let's say that pre-sale lasts for 48 hours and then you want the public sale to begin immediately afterwards. Simply add a new claim phase, set the start time for 48 hours later, fix up all of your settings, and leave this drop down right here at any wallet. Finish up by clicking update claim phases. With our claim phases set to go, let's get this added to our website. For this quick example, I'm just going to use a service called Card, but you can use the embed on any page that accepts HTML. So Webflow, WordPress, Squarespace, etc. Check out how simple this is. Just navigate to the embed tab inside of Third Web. Copy that snippet, switch tabs to your website and paste it in the right spot. And when you publish it, check it out. Fully equipped with multiple wallet providers for your community. And it will automatically allow or deny minting based on what's set up in your claim phase. Now that I've claimed all the available tokens, the widget will reflect that the drop is sold out. I can either view my tokens individually in the inventory section, or I can view them on OpenSea. Finally, I had to highlight what may be the most impressive no-code feature in Third Web B2, the delayed reveal. Having a delayed reveal means that when the person mints the token, the artwork will be obscured or replaced with a placeholder image. They won't be able to see exactly what they minted until a later date. This is a super fun spin that you can put on your NFT collection in order to build suspense and anticipation in your community. So back when we did our batch upload, we were asked if we wanted an immediate reveal or a delayed reveal. So this time we're choosing delayed reveal. I just need to set a password and confirm that password. And you need to keep this password safe because if you lose it, you won't be able to reveal your NFTs and then you're basically gonna have a very sad community all with the exact same obscured image on their NFTs. So I put in my placeholder image here. And then if you were unaware, a separate name and description will be given to these NFTs during the hidden state. When the reveal happens, not only will your art be revealed, but the name, description, and metadata all get revealed along with it. Finally, when the time is right, come back to your third web dashboard. Just click reveal, enter that password that you held onto, and enjoy watching the frenzy from within your community. And there you go. All of this and so much more can be done with no code. Now, I did promise our developer friends some news as well. So last thing before I go, I wanted to highlight the updated developer experience from Third Web. To go along with these brand new V2 contracts, our SDK has been rewritten from scratch. This allows for cheaper and faster performance, all while greatly simplifying the overall developer experience. This includes batching contract calls to reduce gas costs, speeding up requisite function calls, and simplifying contract deployments across the board. You can read about all of that and so much more in our brand new developer docs, which I've linked below. If you found this video helpful, please let us know. Tag Third Web on Twitter, leave a comment, 
We'd really just love to hear from you. And definitely let us know if you end up launching your project on Third Web. We'd love to see it and share it around. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.